We're back again, and we're going to go ahead and look at the PTO or PTA agenda in minutes section. At the top right corner, you can see that I'm logged in to the Cortland PTO website. And down here is our box where we're going to add the minutes and the agendas. We're actually not going to add them in this section, though. That is just being pulled from our Google Drive. So I'm going to leave this tab open, which is our website, and I'm going to go to my drive. So if I open up my drive tab, I can see in my drive, since it's a new account, I just have one item, and it's a getting started item. This uh, does have some good information, so please feel free to check that out. The area that you're going to go to first, though, is a shared with me. And there's a folder in here that has been shared with you. So if you click on it one time to highlight it, you can click on this button over here that's titled Add to my Drive. Once you click on that button, we can go back to My Drive, and you will now see that folder inside of your drive. I'll go ahead and make these into a list view. So here's our Cortland PTO website folder that has a couple important items, especially for the agendas and the minutes. I'm going to go ahead and double click on this folder to open it up. And then there's another folder in here titled the PTO Agendas and Minutes. I'm going to double click on that to open that one up. There's nothing in this folder right now. You can see I've started at my drive. I went to the PTO website and then the PTO Agendas and Minutes. So that's where I am right now. This is called your breadcrumb. I'm going to go ahead and click on New, and I'm basically going to upload a file. So I can upload a Word document, a PDF, really any kind of document. It could be a, an image file, a JPEG, or um, another image file. So I'm going to click on File Upload. And this is really the trickiest part, is finding my file. So if this is the file that I want to add, if this is our minutes, I'm going to go ahead and click on that one one time and say Open. What's happening now is it's actually adding that item into our PTO Agendas and Minutes folder. Down here in the bottom right, you will see that it's uploading it, and it will tell you approximately how much time is left, and then it will change and tell you when it is finished. Okay, it's finishing up, and right now it is complete. So here within this folder, you can see the one item we have. I'm going to leave this tab open and go back to my other tab, which is my PTO website. I'm going to go over here to the front of the Omni bar. This is the Omni bar or the search bar, the address bar, and I'm going to click on reload this page, which is the same as refresh. Back on the PTO website, you can see that in the Agenda and Minutes section, that item that I loaded into the folder is now being displayed. So the Agendas and the PTA Minutes will not, or PTO Minutes, will not be added here. Instead, they will be added in that folder, which is in your drive. So if I want to go to that folder, I'm going to open it up again. And this actually is not our minutes, so I'm going to take that out. I'm going to click on it once and trash it. So now that there's nothing in this folder called PTO Agendas and Minutes, when I go back to the website and I refresh it or reload the page, you will see that it is now not showing up in that section. Because I deleted it from the drive, the folder within the drive, it is now deleted from the website.